Hi there, and welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah Scully, and today I was going to share with you one more recipe for summertime, and um, that's my recipe for tomatillo salsa or salsa verde. Um, and this recipe I was inspired because there's a particular brand of Vermont made uh, tomatillo salsa that I like to buy at the store. Um, but it's it's not inexpensive. It's over six dollars a jar, and so I thought, you know, I I could probably make this myself. Um, so I grew tomatillos in the garden for the first time, uh, first time since we moved to Vermont. Um, I had tried them when we lived down in Maryland, and they did they did well there. Um, and I wasn't sure about the growing season here and whether they'd do okay, but they actually turned out great. Um, they're a little bit easier to grow than tomatoes. They're in a similar family. Um, so they like a nice, rich soil, um, you know, plenty of water, plenty of full sunshine. Um, but mine did great. They bore a ton of fruit. Um, one plant got so heavy with fruit that it actually split open before all the fruit um, came uh, fully ripened. Um, but the nice thing about tomatillos is you can eat them somewhat green, like you can green tomatoes. So I just picked all the fruit um, and used it anyway. And I grew the purple tomatillos, um, and that was actually handy because I could tell when the fruits were ripe because they turn from the bright green um, to a slightly purpley color. And so then I knew the fruits were, were completely ripened and ready to pick. Um, it bore fruit all summer. I feel like probably at least six weeks of um, harvest, and I just kept picking and picking and picking. So I made several batches of this tomatillo salsa, and um, I hope you'll try it out. So like my spaghetti sauce or my, my tomato sauce that I mentioned in a previous episode, um, this one is roasted in the oven. And so you're gonna put your tomatillos, your uh, chilies of choice, and Rick likes to grow jalapenos. So um, I put a few of those and lots of garlic. And um, you're just gonna put that into a baking tray, um, douse it liberally with olive oil and some salt and roast it until everything's nice and squishy and some of the water has started to evaporate out of it, usually about 30 minutes or so um, on a nice high heat. And now what that will do is it'll kind of break down um, all of the starch and things in the tomatillos and it will also make the garlic really easy to skin and it will make the peppers really easy to um, de-seed and to t get the tops off of those if you want to. Um, so with the jalapenos, sometimes the skins can be a little bit tough and papery, so once you're finished roasting them, let them cool slightly, and then you can just peel the skins off with your fingers and pop the tops off. And um, then what I do is I take all that good stuff out of the pan, all the vegetables, plus all the juice and the oil that they've been cooking in, and I put, put that in my food processor. I whiz it up until it's nice and creamy and thick. And then I batch that out into my freezer storage bags. I have one of those um, vacuum sealer uh, food saver um, machines. And put the dates on the outsides of the bags. And there you go. I usually can get about four servings for a tray of roasted veg. And um, I use it on my chicken enchiladas. Um, it makes a great layer if you're doing like nachos or seven layer dip or something like that. Um, it's good in all kinds of things. It's nice just by itself too with, with a plate of chips. So um, try that out. It's not too difficult. There's not a lot of ingredients, um, but it's a nice rich flavor and uh, I'd love for you to try it and tell me what you think. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like these videos and we'll be sending you more recipes. Cheers!